this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how you can be a smoother driver. These tips will help you no matter what stage you're at, whether you're a beginner or preparing for your test or anywhere in between. If you would like to support me, you can do so by PayPal and Revolut, links in the description. So let's get on with the video. When you're moving off, I notice that a lot of people either deliberately or inadvertently lose the acceleration, lose the revs when they're moving off. And this can lead to a little bit of jumps or jerkiness depending on the car. So it's so important when you're moving off that you keep the acceleration. That will make it smoother and a little bit more powerful. Um, a little bit faster too, but not too fast either once it's managed properly, okay? So I'm gonna go into first gear now. I'm going to get a little bit of acceleration, okay? Now I'm going to gradually build up the acceleration. I don't want to get like, you know, be uneven and, and give excessive revs. I just want to gradually build it up till I hear that nice, gentle humming sound there. Then I bring the clutch up and I get the bite. We feel the car kind of lifting there. Now what I do next is I let the handbrake down and I make sure I keep my feet still for five seconds, okay? So one, two, three, four, five. But as I was doing all that, the accelerator was consistent. I did not let go of the accelerator at all there. I didn't over the accelerate, but I didn't let go of it. And because I kept the accelerator consistent, that made sure then that I was able to move off in a smooth way without any jerks and jumps. And that would be particularly important if you are moving off on an uphill. Okay, so I've just stopped. I'm gonna go back into first gear now. I'm gonna just make sure I'm okay on my mirrors. I'm gonna accelerate gently. So you'll hear that revs, they're just nice gentle revs. I'm gonna bring the clutch up. Now I'm gonna make sure I keep the revs, okay? Keep the revs and then slowly off the clutch. And keeping the revs there, as I said, will make sure the car is smooth um, moving off and help to avoid any jerks and jumps. So that would be the case whether I'm moving off with the handbrake up or whether I'm moving off with the handbrake down. It will depend on how long you're stopped or if you're on a, on a hill or whatever. Now, I've made a great video on moving off. I'm gonna link it in the description. You may see a link popping up on, on screen there, but make sure you check out that video because that video goes into more detail on how to move off smoothly and it will help ensure that you never stall the car. Another extra little tip on moving off is how you lift the clutch when you have moved off and you feel you've done most of the hard work and all you have to do is release the clutch so that you can accelerate more, okay? Now, when it does become time to release the clutch, a lot of people, particularly those beginners or intermediates, they do tend to lift the clutch a little bit quick and that can cause the car to jump. In general, you do not want to lift the clutch quick when you're moving off or changing gear because the car could react with a jerk or a jump. So I'll just show you what I mean now. So I'm gonna go into first gear again, okay? I'm gonna get a little bit of juice, just gradual, gentle juice. Get the bite, you feel the car lifting there, okay? Handbrake down. Now I keep the feet steady for five seconds as you will see in my moving off video. Two, three, four, five. Now, gently, gently off the clutch and there's no jumps or no jerks or anything like that there, okay? It's very important that when it, when it is time to come off the clutch, you do it slowly and gradually, okay? So if I move off again here, I'm gonna stop here now. Just checking my mirrors. I'm gonna move again. So I have my feet steady now for about four or five seconds. One, two, three, four, and then gently off the clutch. Because if I do come off the clutch a bit quick, like I'm about to do now, you may notice a bit of a jump. So here, I'm gonna just move off gently here, making sure it's okay. So here, two, three, four, five, and then, oh, oops, awkward, hashtag aux. And that's because I came off the clutch a bit quick there at the end and the car reacted in a not very nice way, okay? So always remember, the slower you come off the clutch, the smoother your car is gonna be. There will be times in driving when you're in a queue, like a slow moving queue, when you're just barely, barely crawling. And I'm just gonna kind of uh, do that now. So I'm gonna go into first gear here now. I'm just gonna go really, really slow in, in first gear. I'm not exactly, um, you know, creeping, but I don't have the clutch pressed in. I just, I'm just kind of very, very, very gently on the accelerator. And what I notice a lot of people do is, if they do have a bit of a gap where they need to go and make some more progress, they sometimes tend to accelerate a bit harsh like this and that can cause the car to give it a little bit of a jerk and jump. So if I press the accelerator a little bit hard again, it, it can get a little bit of a jump like that. It cannot be the most comfortable feeling in the world. So I'm just gonna straighten up the car here now and I'm gonna just go really slow. So I'm just kind of, right now, my, I don't have anything pressed on the clutch. I'm just kind of hovering over the accelerator. Now let's say, for example, 
I notice there's a bit, a bit of a gap there, okay? You can look ahead there, there's, there's plenty of room. So I need to just make a bit of progress, okay? So here's what I do with the accelerator, okay? I just gradually and very, very gently press it like this. And do you see how smooth that was? Just gradually, gently, and delicately builds up speed. And it looks far more smoother, feels more smoother, looks a lot better. So it's very important if you are just, you know, slowly moving in a queue and you do feel like, oh, there's a gap in front of us. Like now, look, there's a gap in front of us there now. Don't press the accelerator quick or harsh like that because the car might jerk forward or it might jump. I'm just going to get her slow again. Just ever so gently press the accelerator like this. Very, 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 very gently. See? And it'll just gradually pick up a little bit of speed then. And then if I'm stopping, then I'm just going to brake her there nice and gently as well. So gradual accelerating and gradual braking if I'm stopping, okay? So that's something you really have to focus on if you're in a slow moving queue, like a traffic lights or just, a, just any kind of slow moving queue, because if you're not focusing on how you accelerate in a slow moving queue, it could reflect badly on you if the car starts jumping and jerking. So right now I'm moving off from the side of the road, but I'm on a downhill. I'm on a pretty steep downhill here, okay? Now, the worst thing I can do here is get a bite because if I get a bite as I go into first gear and I'll just indicate I'm moving out even though I'm not really going to move out, move out but I'll indicate anyway now I'm going to get a bit of juice here okay I'm going to get a bit of a accelerating there as well so I have the bite here now okay I'm just going to make sure everything's okay and what happens then is the car can go a little bit too quick on the downhill if you move off with the bite okay so you have to always be aware of gravity I'm on the downhill now so I don't need a bite. I'm just going to use gravity to allow me to move off in a smoother, better way. Let me show you. I'm going to go into first gear. I'm going to indicate to the right. I'm going to check my mirrors now. Blind spot. I'm ready over the accelerator and I just no bite. Let the car roll, okay? Double check. And then I gently, gradually get off the clutch. And I'm gradually accelerating as well. So I don't need a bite there because I'm using the gravity to help me move off. The danger is if you get a bite when you're on the downhill, the car could shoot forward or move off too quick and it doesn't look the best, doesn't look smooth. We're just going to talk a little bit about reversing now, okay? Right now I'm reversing on a downhill, okay? It's not the steepest hill, but it is it is downhill. I'm reversing downhill. Now, when I'm reversing downhill, again, like the previous example, I do not get a bite, okay? I have to have my feet in a certain way. That means I'm in control of the car and not the other way around, okay? That means holding the brake and clutch in and then coming on and off the brake to allow the car to move, okay? Let me show you. I'm going to go into reverse gear first of all, okay? I always like to go into reverse gear first, okay? That means your reverse light comes on and people around you know what your intentions are, okay? Just giving a look around, okay? Now, I'm going to get my feet started now. So my foot is on the brake. It's, it's, it's firmly on the brake and fully on the clutch, okay? So my feet, right foot on the brake, left foot fully on the clutch, okay? I'm going to just check around again. Let the handbrake down. Because I'm still on the brake, the car's not going to move. So I'm going to just slowly, slowly let go of the foot brake now. And then you'll notice that the car will gently go back bit by bit. And that's what it's all about. Clutch in fully, okay? And just on and off the brake. I'm tapping on and off the brake. That's all I'm doing here now. There's no need for me to accelerate here. There's no need for me to bring the clutch up fully. Because if I do bring the clutch up fully, the car may move off pretty fast there, let him go there. That's why we look around there, so we can see things like that. If I do bring the clutch up fully here, for example, the car might will go like this, like that, and I'll just slow back down again. So when we're reversing downhill, we have the clutch in fully and just on and off the brake to regulate the speed, okay? You don't have to get any big bite. You do not need to accelerate. It's very important you don't accelerate, actually. And you just use the brake to control the car. So generally speaking, you do not need to accelerate any time you're reversing. Maybe up the hill, of course, obviously, but, but if you're on the flat, if you're on a slight uphill, or if you're on the downhill, you do not need to accelerate when you're reversing. So in this area here, we're reversing down the hill, clutching fully, on and off the brake, and that means more control for you, the driver. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I'll be back very soon with another driving lesson video. Make sure you check out the description as well because you're going to find lots more videos there to help make you a smoother and better driver, just like this video will. In the meantime, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. It's long a fall.